hello friends uh, in last session we have seen uh, what is w and what are different components of w we just had some basic idea and uh, without deviating from the topic we will go to how to automate the w dashboard from qa point of view like it is a sample w dashboard published in w public so if this is a dashboard and it is uh, like the senior management is looking into it so the data should be correct over here okay like once the developer changes the code or made some new enhancements or add some functionalities or remove some functionalities those need to be checked or tested at the same time so you can't be doing that over manually and manually each time because it will be taking some time L suppose let's say if here the count is like the it is a hr attrition dashboard and uh, suppose i want to see the 150 let's say the tableau technician only that data the attrition uh, in different job role only for the technicians whether this percentage this is correctly populating or not whether as department wise the count is coming over or correct over or not and here like suppose the total attrition is 62 out of 197 so whether the male to female this ratio or the sum should be equal to this 62 but whether it is really equal to or not suppose click on this mail you can see in the mail it is like 46 and 46 is populated over here on clicking on female and this entire page will change see these graphs are changing these details as per education level these are also changing this is also changing over here 16 so total uh, the females are 16 total attrition Mm. whether this is correct or not means everything is correctly populated or not mm. that need to be verified okay so uh, each time if you will do with your manual testing then you will be adjusted and at some level or some time it will be uh, very difficult for you it is or boring for you to do that so we will see how to automate this dashboard okay so before automating this dashboard uh, we should know what are the available tools to automate this frankly speaking there is no direct tool to automate this dashboard so that's why i'm making this lecture or series of lectures to show you how you can automate this dashboard so here we will be using there are different tools for the automation in the market like qtp and uh, uh, selenium and rbf robotic automation and uh, we can say soap ui but soap ui is for api automation for the ui automation specifically qtp is there for the uh, uh, QTP, Selenium, RBF, those are there. RBF internally uses the Selenium package. Uh, okay, so measure the for the UI automation, web UI automation, the uh, tool which is more familiar and people are aware and have the large market share, that is Selenium. So we will be using Selenium with Java for this dashboard automation. Okay selenium with java will be for this dashboard automation okay so before automating let's explore some feature or functionality we should know first the functionality of this dashboard otherwise um, means what thing we will automate what we will verify okay see here there is a uh, button on off button it is currently showing the attrition along with 
total executives if you want to see only the attrition as per the job role here only we can see the everywhere there is no second column of total employees or anything kind only the attrition level if we off make it off then we can see everywhere both okay here the second data comes and out of percentage it is called donut chart or pie chart you say but it is donut chart here it appears here you can see in the like it in bar graph out of what much how much is the attrition level okay this is we will test the functionality of this graph again th these are the labels which are calculated as per your selection or data selection suppose you see here the top five as per the top five job role you see the details i'm explaining this because you will be aware about this dashboard then you can once you understand the functionality then you can automate this if you make to all the job roles instead of the top five you can see all the job roles okay see it is five six seven eight nine total nine job roles and here it is 18.8 percent total attrition is coming as 16 if you make top five this should change at least but these are not changing so we'll see what is happening over here okay we have made some filter here let's remove this filter now these are fluctuating changing in top five only top five would be there okay in database there would be a column like top five why so from sql that would be here so uh, this is just the basic functionality and here it is a like laboratory technician it is 62 out of 197 but here this is as per the education level okay bachelor degree this is in job role specific this is education specific okay and uh, this is age group specific you can see in how much age group how much are the attrition level and these are the other details we will go through them while doing the testing and this is the attrition trend this is weekly wise okay this is monthly wise this is quarterly wise and this is yearly wise the graph is changing so we should test all the functionality if the end user let's say senior manager or anyone who wants to see the data and uh, suppose he want to see what are the details of top five so anything all these clicks are filters for the screen so all should work correctly if you want to see the male percentage so those details populating as per the click over here those should be correct and the page should be in sync okay we'll test in the next lecture how to automate this dashboard using selenium with java thank you